Lee Song Ye is a commander that almost every player in the game has considered investing in or has already invested in, like myself. And today I'll be answering the crucial questions about him, especially with the release of Zio Lane. Is Lee Song still a good commander? Is he still a good investment in season 1, 2, and 3? Or really, should Lee Song just be thrown in the trash and never used again? I will answer this and probably a few more questions today in this video, so make sure you check it out. And you always want to know should you be throwing Lee Song in the garbage? So just a quick disclaimer, if you are in Season of Conquest, you can feel free to skip to the portion of the video where I discuss Esong in Season of Conquest and if he is still usable. For early game players or people who are considering redoing the early game like myself very soon, you should definitely watch this part of the video. So we know that Esong used to be the best pre-Season of Conquest commander, like by far and away, it was not even close. And to get to Season of Conquest, it took about 9 to 10 months, so that was basically a year of not being in Season of Conquest especially if you migrate back to KVK2 again at some point. But now instead of taking about 10 months to be able to access Season of Conquest Commanders, you can access them in about 6 months. That's half a year. So you can really see that it is a much shorter time frame to get access to these really powerful endgame commanders. And now that this has happened, commanders like Isong don't hold as much value because you used to be able to just get them for pre-Season of Conquest, and you would crush it pre-Season of Conquest, and then you could slap them into your Season of Conquest marches. Like, they would work with a commander such as Boudicca Prime perfectly fine, and that would be a good pair. But now you can access those Season of Conquest commanders in Season 3. So this is where the issue comes in. You can probably just use Epic Commanders until you reach Season 3, when you can just go and get yourself those legendary powerful commanders that are Season of Conquest. So for the most part, I don't think many players should invest in Isong in the early game. First of all, he doesn't hold as much value as he used to in the end game because of all the new power creep. And now you don't really get to use him properly for over a year because you can really only use him in season like one and two for him to be completely effective. So for early game players, I do recommend probably steering away from that E song and going for another commander that you can possibly get some gold heads from. Either from like, let's say for example, Mehmed, who is really good. He's got an amazing relic and you don't even have to put that many gold heads in him. A 5-5-1 on Mehmed, Mehmed is perfectly fine. The best thing about it is you have access to Mehmed from your gold chests. So you can probably get 50 or so free Mehmed sculptures. But a commander like Isong, to use him very effectively, you want to expertise him because you want to deal that extra damage in a circle AoE. 500 damage factor to 5 enemies, an increase of that much in a circle AoE, is actually quite a bit. And without it, without the circle AoE especially, you're missing out on a lot. One of his main utilities, especially pre-season of Conquest, was being able to just AoE barb bomb. That was amazing. But now... Like, unless you expertise him, you don't get this value. So really, you do want to expertise your Isong, but he doesn't hold enough value and you probably don't even have enough time to expertise him. So he's lost that value as well in that regard. That being said, if you are a pre-season of Conquest and you spend a, probably a fair amount of money where you would buy him in the daily bundle consistently. So if you know what the daily bundle is, if you go in your shop, the daily, the daily special offer. Here, you can buy Isong and this is actually a good way to get him. And I think that if you're buying this, he is still the best value commander in here because he still holds value in Season of Conquest. Speaking of holding value in Season of Conquest, you just got a spoiler. Why is she still good in Season of Conquest? He is not bad. Purely because he is a generic commander. And I'm saying that in a nice way. Most players say generic is in a bad thing. For example, Thutmose is generic. He's not good. But in this situation, being generic is good. Why is she doesn't have anything really that needs a special like commander to go with him. For example, Artemis just silences herself. You can't put her with a commander unless they have some immunity or some chance to shrug off silence or control effects in general. YSG doesn't need that. You can put your YSG with anybody. That's why a lot of people still use him. If YSG had a very specific commander, for example, YSG, let's say, inflicted some debuff on himself, like a health debuff. For some reason, Lilith made him do this. Then you would need to put him with a health heavy commander and that may be an issue. But since he doesn't inflict any debuffs on himself, he doesn't really have any downsides in that regard, you can easily just put your YSG with basically any commander that's an archer, even, even a leadership commander, and he's going to trade fairly good. You don't really have to worry about his damage being slightly outclassed. He's still a very much what we call an enhancing commander. You put him with a stat-heavy commander that may not do too much damage, like Boudicca, and he's able to enhance her. He gives her more rage so she can throw active skill quicker, makes her deal more skill damage, and does a lot of skill damage himself. However, he's not tanky. 
So it's basically putting a glass cannon with a brick wall. That's really what you, know, you want to do with most commanders. And YSG is still good at that. That is his main role and he still serves that role. Of course, there are better options. We know that Zul Lang is a better option. We know that, for example, Artemisia is a better option or Cyrus may be, in some situations, a better option. But here's the thing. I still think YSG holds value, especially if you're running two to three Archer Marchers. If I were to run two Archer Marchers right now, I would run Boudicca with Artemisia or Cyrus, Henry with Zul Lang, and then Nebu with YSG. That's the top three Archer Marchers. And you see YSG is still in there because his damage is still not bad. He's running a lot of damage factor in comparison to some commanders. For example, a lot of cavalry commanders, let's just say as an example, do not compete even closely with YSG's damage. The only commander that's close to it is Joan, where she probably surpasses his damage because she can literally double throw her active skill of 2000 damage factor to three targets. Like that is a lot of damage factor, but that's still not gonna really be as good as a YSG circle AOE with five targets. Yes, it's stronger, but YSG's AOE A is more generic with which, com which commanders it goes with, and B still does a crap load of damage. Along with this, I think E Song is like having a second Zul Lang. Do you not want a second Zul Lang? That's the question. You may as well use him still. There's no point in benching him. There are so many combinations with E Song as well. Let's say right now you had Boudicca and you have Henry maxed, and you were running a Boudicca Henry, and you want to get Zul Lang, and you've got an E Song maxed as well, you just benched for the time being. Here's what you do. Boudicca with YSG, Henry with Zul Lang. Very, very good right there. There's no point, for example, getting an Artemisia for your Boudicca if you already have a YSG, because it's still going to work. He is not going to magically become a bad commander once you get Zul Lang. But, of course, he's going to slowly get phased out, as newer players tend to not invest in Isong and go for Zul Lang. One other thing to note with Isong is that he still holds value because he's able to get a bunch of buffs from his Relic. He has no defense, and we know that's that's a thing, because if you look at Isong's kit, there's no defense. But his Relic gives him 20% defense when double relic For newer players, it may be harder to access this, which is another reason you probably don't really want to get him in the early game. But for us endgame players that have probably been around for the time since the museum was released, or even shortly thereafter, we have a ton of Relic coins saved up, purely because we played when they were much more abundant. But nowadays, you can't really get them as easily. But most, However, most players have... E Song's double relic available to them, and it's certainly very good and gives him a lot more longevity. I also think that they're going to continue to add relics, so E Song's relic is only going to get pow more powerful over time. The next thing I really like about E Song is he's got a five target AoE instead of a three target AoE. We know that most commanders, actually, every other commander besides Archer commanders, only have a three target AoE, is by, by what I see. For example, Guan Yu, three targets. For Harold, is three targets. So you can see that. Having a 5 target AoE is actually very powerful because you're hitting an extra 2 targets. Isong, Nebuchadnezzar, and Zul Lang all have 5 target AoEs. Yes, Nebuchadnezzar, 5 target AoE, but his AoE is actually weaker than YSG's in terms of damage factor. It does 1,500 instead of 1,700. Zul Lang's AoE, yes, is stronger than YSG's, but Zul Lang is power creep. He's just going to be stronger. There is no way around that. Isong's AoE sits nice and comfortably in the middle. He has the highest AoE for an early game commander. He has a high AoE still in Season of Conquest. It's probably about the fourth or fifth best AoE in the whole entire game. Throw that on with his 50% skill damage boost, and you've got like the second best AoE, second as your lane. So he is still a valuable commander, and I think that he's going to hold his value in Season of Conquest for a fair amount of time. This is not me telling you, though, to go and invest in Isong. I don't think he's worth the investment anymore, but if you still have him, don't worry, you can still use him. I think he's still going to be useful. I personally will be using him in my KVK. This will give us the best gauge of whether or not he can still be used. I'll be running him with my Nebu, who is 5511 with fairly trashy gear, and we will be able to figure out, is YSG still good? Because if he can carry that march, he is still a good commander, and I think that's just very simple and easy to say. Also, one thing to note for Season of Conquest players, it's probably not worth getting him in the daily special offer anymore. You have access to stronger commanders like William, Harold, Shonra Gupta, you have access to Artemisia, you have access to Ramses, I guess, who could be slightly better. Soon to be Nebu and Cyrus, they should be coming very soon. I think Nebu and Cyrus are very good commanders as well. So you'll have access to them and daily special offers on top of Isong, and it's probably best going for some of those commanders before you do get Isong. And if you don't have him, he's probably not worth it, because most players will only run two Archer Marchers. And unless you're going to be running two Suboptimal Marchers, you may as well just go for the Meta Commanders. But if you have Isong, you may as well use him. 
now you know my opinion on Esong in the current meta and if you should still be using him. And I just want to say thank you for watching the video. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by June 27th when I start my restart account that I'm going to be using only Siege units on. If you're interested in seeing that, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I just want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.